All righty. I am beyond tired, exhausted. I'm on like this weird sleep schedule just about where like I wake up at like 8 a.m., which is good because I have a lot of stuff throughout the day that I can finish and do and, you know, editing and all that. But it's tiring because it is almost 1.30 a.m. And I, I'm recording this video prior to the challenges being released. Just, just the under four hours of it being released so let's go you guys probably will see this in like an hour and a half so it'll be like two and a half hours until the challenges are released but week four quests are out or going to be out and you already know uh i'm gonna be covering them um yeah the challenges this week aren't like the craziest easiest i mean i don't know i've i honestly I, I really haven't gone through them, but well, actually I've gone through them, but I haven't really like, you know, full blown put my intention to it because I've been busy doing other things. I've been editing a bunch of other things and doing other things, but, uh, enough, uh, enough rambling. Let's get into the challenges week four seasonal quest. We are starting off with eliminate a bounty target with a sniper rifle or marksman rifle. Now this one's pretty simple. I'll show all the locations for, uh, the bounties that you can get across the map. Um, but this one's kind of self-explanatory. You get a bounty and then after you get the bounty, um, go and eliminate a, the player with a, the, um, sniper rifle, any of the sniper rifles or the marksman rifles. And last week I did cover the challenge where it said you had to do, I think it was like 250 damage, uh, for, with the marksman rifle. So that is the new rifle. I don't know why they say the marksman rifle. Cause it's called the Cobra AR, I believe. So I don't know why they call it that, but I mean, Hey. Uh, at least, you know, it's like new, it's the new, uh, Cobra AR. So that's what the marksman rifle is. Um, uh, but anyways, moving on up next, we have open a lock with a key and a safe in a single match. So all you have to do is open a lock. I'm uh, going to assume when they say lock, I I'm, they probably mean a vault. Um, and then a safe is most likely going to be in the vault. So th the chances of a vault being in a safe is, or a safe being in a vault is very high. This one's pretty simple. Just go in, get a key. Uh, I get lucky at Rave Cave um, or even on the blimp because usually you open a lot of chests and you usually get a key. So you can probably land Rave Cave or even on the blimp. Um, but usually you can open safes uh, with one key and it shows on the map whenever you pick up a key. So it should be pretty simple. Uh, next up, we have use a porter bunker in different matches. You have to do this twice. Um, this one's pretty simple. Just find porter bunkers. I mean, like I said, if you're going into a, a vault, you most likely can get a porter bunker very easily. I usually, I usually break chests and I usually get one right away. Um, but if not, it shouldn't be too hard. Just go around the map. They spawn on the ground. They spawn in chests. They pretty much spawn anywhere. Um, and all you have to do is throw one down uh, twice in two different games. So uh, you have to play two games. Woo. I, I honestly, I'm not a big fan of uh, challenges that require multiple games because I mean, like, yes. I mean, they're challenges and it should take multiple games, but I, I usually tend to try to finish all the challenges in one game because it's pretty simple, but you have to do two this week at minimum. Uh, and then moving on, we have throw a launch pad at Flutter Barn or Shimmering Shrine. Uh, I'll show up both locations, but all you have to do is throw a uh, launch pad. And if you guys don't know, the launch pads are in the game. All you have to do is pick them up. Like a, most, most launch pads actually spawn in vaults. I, I've like noticed like a high amount of launch pad spawning in vaults which is kind of crazy but you should be able to um find them fairly simple and it's super easy in vaults and all you have to do is throw them a most likely well the best location is probably shimmering shrine you know where that one is it's under herald sanctum right next to fort jonesy in between rocky reels fort jonesy and then uh flutter barn i believe is over by greasy grove oh no 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 it's right under rocky reels i forgot they named it flutter barn so um both locations pretty simple you could throw it either 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 location but um challenge is pretty simple uh anyways moving on we have headshot headshot opponents with the evil chrome shotgun or evil chrome burst rifle you have to shoot 15 opponents in the head or you have to shoot 15 opponent or you have to shoot your opponents 15 times in the head with those two weapons my i'm 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 exhausted i'm tired i apologize um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, with a shotgun or burst rifle, you can even go to Herald Sanctum or even place that has chrome and then you can chromify a chest and you usually get a chrome weapon from the chrome chest. So 
there's plenty of ways if you watch my previous videos or if you keep up with the challenges that i go over you most likely uh already know that there's different ways to get chrome weapons fairly fast so um but this one's pretty simple just headshot your opponents uh 15 times uh anyways moving on we have survive storm phases you have to survive 10 now 10 storm phases is actually not that hard if you make it to end game it's about five uh and then four is like usually around top 10 so um in bot lobbies it's really easy but if you do regular lobbies it's might take you multiple games but you have to play two at minimum anyways so this kind of correlates of just to survive until end zone or you know in game and you should be fine and you fin should finish this challenge fairly fast so yeah um i can't really show anything on this either i mean like it just kind of survive until circle closes so yeah uh and then finally the last and final challenge for this week is going to be deal damage to wildlife you have to deal a thousand damage now i learned actually over i think like a last week uh wolves and boars actually have different amounts of health so boars have less health than wolves i mean i i probably knew this or like you know whenever animals came out you know i think i knew this but i like forgot about it at some point but wolves have more health than boars so if you're going to damage uh animals damage wolves wolves are a lot simpler to damage and or you get more damage from them so i mean uh but of course you can shoot like um bird or birds you can shoot crows chickens frogs that still counts as damage but of course killing wolves they usually spawn in like two or three uh at a time so you can get up to like 400 damage or you can even land at Harold sanctum which is probably going to be the easiest because those wolves have a lot of health you just land there and uh, shoot those wolves and you should be good um but otherwise that is every single challenge for week four um i'm in i am going to cover the last two challenges just in case one of these challenges get replaced we've actually had one challenge replaced this season so far so um a little heads up but the last two challenges that could be replacing any other challenges at some point if one breaks is search chest or ammo boxes that's going to be 15 but usually these never come out so don't worry about them and then you have to tame three wildlife um but yeah those are the, the extra challenges just in case a challenge breaks or is broken at some point or they replace one they're uh, i always mention them just in case they actually have to do them usually they never get replaced but like i think last week or like two weeks ago uh you had to do like damage with the uh goo weapon but it wasn't even released so it was like you know but um that is every single challenge for week four including the extra ones just in case one breaks um but otherwise if you guys haven't already like the video subscribe i'd appreciate it turn on notifications for any further videos i have a lot of stuff planned and a lot of uh you know things coming out someone is asking about a route video i most likely will cover that in a few days i'm kind of trying to catching up with content if you guys don't know i went to twitchcon and there's a bunch of things that i had to do but otherwise you know keep, subscribe if you want to keep up with the content um other platforms down in the description down below if you want to you know come over come over on twitch and you know watch me and see what i do throughout the day but otherwise that is it for the challenge video thanks for watching have an amazing day and i will see you guys in uh the next one